Hey everyone, just a really quick one for bed leveling on the Overlord Pro, the Dreammaker Overlord Pro and Overlord, I assume, I don't have an Overlord, I've got the Pro one which is a bit taller. So this thing has an automatic bed leveling feature which doesn't work very well at all. It basically just crushes the head into the plate and then when you actually try and print a calibration ring it doesn't work at all. So I'm going to show you the auto calibration, then I'm going to do a manual calibration really quickly and show you how to manually calibrate your bed, which is going to give you a little bit uh, more of this and less of this kind of thing. What happened here was bed, this did not adhere to the bed properly. Um, that just happens sometimes, unfortunately. Um, but yeah i get quite a lot of this not very happy about that okay here we go automatic leveling process basically jams the nozzle into the glass in a number of positions and tries to establish whether or not there's any resistance and then to the next position, and there's more, now I used to do this and kind of trust it, but I got a lot of failed prints, I still get a lot of failed prints to be fair, um, it's normally bed adhesion is my problem, I'm wondering if my glass plate that they provided is not completely flat. I suspect that it isn't. One thing that I have noticed is that the Dreammaker guys, on all of their videos, they don't even have a glass plate. They just print straight onto the metal. So I'm thinking of experimenting with that. But we'll see. Okay. It's convinced that it has now calibrated itself. Let's try it. Okay. No, I do not wish to automatically level the build plate. I want to do it manually, please. Yes, you should be calibrated. Now, I have actually prepped the build plate with my print stick. I'm thinking of buying some Kapton tape for the future to see if that's better. Because I get a lot of bed adhesion issues with PLA. I'm not even doing ABS. Um, so it's just heating up. I may fast forward this bit for you. I will fast forward this bit for you. I did preheat the bed, but evidently not enough. So it's warming the bed up now. And then it will print a calibration ring. And what you do is these two buttons, when you see that it's either the head is too high or too low with your eyes, you can nudge those buttons and I think it nudges by 0 0.1 of a millimeter per press. So if you find that it's too close to the build plate, you wait till it comes back around again and then you start tapping the buttons according to how you want it to be calibrated. So it's best to let it go round one full time and observe which bits are printing and which bits aren't and how they're printing and then next time it comes around you get your fingers on the bu buttons and you start pressing. What I'll do is I will read out what I'm doing up, up or down, down according to what I'm actually doing as I'm doing it and I'll just film uh, there. So it's going to go around in a circle now. But yes, well calibrated automatic calibration process. That is more than just a little bit disappointing. So, we are too low at this bit because it did not print. So I'm tapping it up, 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 up. Oh, here we go, we're getting some now. Up, 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 up. That bit seems to be relatively okay. And then 
up, up, up a little bit there. And then it's really difficult holding the camera. Okay, so we now seem to have a complete circle. Okay, so we're now actually printing onto the plate and it's drawing concentric circles, just ever so slightly smaller. Then what you do is, you need to eye it and make sure that it's, see what's happened there? It's not even sticking to the bed there. So it's completely wrong there. So I've got to drop it down and it comes back around because that is so far from being right. It's way too high. Down, 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 down. All the way along here, down, 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 better. Not good, but better. This next one is going to have to go even further down. You can see how far wrong the automatic calibration gets it. It is miles out. And it will be the source of down, 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 down. It will be the source of immense frustration for you. Okay, this calibration is, I now probably, because it's made such a mess, this is the worst mess of a calibration ring I've seen, um, I'm probably gonna have to stop now. Done. Clear the bed and start again and refine it because that's just a mess now. There we go. So let's do it again, calibrate, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I press calibrate, no I don't want to automatically level because that will undo everything I've just done. Would you like to manually calibrate, like to manually level the build plate? Yes. Heating up, preparing for calibration, and we'll try again. So what you ideally want is you want the filament to be squished onto the plate, not sitting, it shouldn't be round. It should be a squidged flat tube, sort of, not tube, squidged flat line because then you know the bottom layer is actually adhering to the bed because really the first layer of contact is largely sacrificial in my experience. So why it thinks it's not up to temperature for this print I have no idea since you were literally just doing it but we are currently waiting for it to heat up. I assume the bed is dropped in temperature. And we'll go through the process again and hopefully we should have pretty much a perfect round circle and we'd be ready to start printing. So my fingers are on these. Let's see what we get. Oh man. Welcome to 3D printing. Crippled machine edition. Okay, that bit's okay. Down, down, down. Down, down. Oh, up, up. That should have been up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Gonna leave it till it gets round to the next bit and then up, up. You can see I've managed to start getting some filament down at that end. So, up, 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 and now we have some going down. Let's see if we actually get any filament. Yes, we have now. We have a complete ring now. And it's mostly squashed in most places. Again, we've got a bit of mess over there, but we, did, we are now printing a ring all the way around. It will take time. It will take practice. And you need to do it with two hands and get in there a bit easier. I'm not doing a good job here. You will get a feel for it. It might take you 10 goes but you will get a feel for a good bed calibration. This is not a good bed calibration, you can see it's actually coming up. But it is printing all the way round, so a print has a reasonable chance of surviving. Now I'm gonna leave it there, because otherwise we'll be here forever. 
All right, good luck out there, Dream Maker owners. There is success waiting for you if you persevere and have all the time in the world. And in the true style of ownership of a Dream Maker Overlord, I had a temp error. And it said that it had stopped, but it carried on trying to print, but it stopped printing. Now I'm a little bit concerned about that because I just spent 25, 30 quid changing both of the temperature sensors because I had a redundant temp sensor error. Which is rather annoying. I don't see the point of a redundant temperature sensor if its failure causes it to stop working. Unless the main one had also failed, but I never got an error saying the temp sensor had failed. So what's the point of having two if you're going to fail prints if either of them fail? You might as well just have one. It makes no sense. I can't get my head around that. But yeah, I had to turn it off and now I need to home the print head. Let's get it up, come on. There we go. All right, seems to be all right. I bet you if I try print, it's gonna give me an error now. And I might throw it out the window. I'm not joking. <laughs>